Being a sailor or a fisherman is a very important job. Without sailors, how will we know about undiscovered worlds had they not explored the seven seas? If we had no fishermen, how will we have any understanding of the strange and unusual creatures that they found along the way? These important people throughout history have opened up so many avenues for further exploration in and out of the water, and they're still finding stuff that you might just have to witness for yourself. 15 Mysterious Things Found by Sailors and Fishermen Abandoned Cargo Guard A Syrian sailor once spent a nightmarish four long hours trapped aboard a cargo ship off the Egyptian coast. The man's terrifying ordeal started on the 330-foot-long container, and over a legal dispute with Egyptian authorities. The vessel was apprehended at the port of Adabia, Egypt, near the mouth of Suez Canal not long after 29-year-old Aisha had boarded in May of 2017. The ship's captain was running errands on land while the person working on repairs was still on board when it was detained. An Egyptian court courier boarded with a letter declaring the boat apprehended until its owner paid a $21,500 invoice for a three-ton anchor purchased the previous year. The person on board was chief mate, the second in command, so he signed the letter designating himself as the legal guardian of the vessel on the advice of the captain. He was stuck with the fee and was forced to stay until it had been paid. It took all those years just to get back home from the incident. Fasten your seatbelts because it's time for today's sweet topic. Oi, matey, we've got a big one and it's bigger than you think. It's something you'd likely hear at a fellow fisherman say as you reeled in a beast like this as you sail the oceans of wherever. This has to be the ultimate trophy for anglers anywhere, successfully hooking a great white shark on your line and then getting it out of the water. This is the catch of a lifetime. But if you look to the left side of this ferocious image, you can see a film crew slightly blurred out in the frame. Maybe this is just a movie set, and this is just an elaborate recreation of a big shark catch. Or is this the international press coming to capture this monumental moment in fishing history? A great white shark weighing 3,427 pounds still remains the largest fish ever caught by rod and reel. And no doubt it would create quite a buzz. But sharks like this aren't the only mysterious things found by sailors and fishermen. What other monsters of the deep do you think would be the catch of a lifetime? Use the hashtag sweet topic with your comments. Sea of Pumice A troubling new development has been unveiled by scientists and it could be exacerbating already dire ocean ecosystem conditions. A floating island, so to speak, of volcanic rock was recently discovered by marine biologists out looking for rare species. The massive 58 square mile floating debris is unlike anything ever seen before, let alone recorded. To put the size into perspective, it's about the size of 20,000 football fields. An official warning was broadcast to the National Guard and fishing frequencies to avoid the area and be wary of the dangerous pumice. The rock is a lightweight, bubble-rich stone light enough to float on water. It's created when lava goes through rapid cooling, like when making contact with water and off gases. According to the experts that found it, the island stretched as far as the eye can see and their spotlight could touch, in other words, really far. While the phenomenon is known to occur with volcanic eruptions, it never has to this degree, and without the scientific community aware of its presence, they can turn entire stretches of ocean into vast plateaus of land. Conk Island. Finding just one of these shells on your typical beach is like hitting the lottery. On this island, it's more like a shell graveyard. In fact, the entire island is said to be made of formed and degraded and dusted conch shells over hundreds of years. Located in the British Virgin Islands, this type of sea snail, rivaled only by lobster and the best seafood, can be found in the thousands, both living and their shell husk remains. They can be found on the menu at nearly every restraint nearby, especially in the form of the highly popular conch fritters. The creature is a staple in the Caribbean as well. The British Virgin Islands, on the other hand, is a special place when it comes to conchs. Every conch on every dinner plate is harvested locally, daily, and mostly in the water surrounding Anagata. The piles of discarded shells are beginning to reach loom high out of the water, which once started as an underwater pile. 
After being overfished to the point of extinction elsewhere in many other places, here they're thriving, it appears. The shells don't attract living conch, so they're actually doing more harm than damage. It was once thought that vacant conch shells would draw in the creatures, but it was found that it repels them. As fresh as it gets, there are many quirky things in Japan, and that includes the many themed, styled, and active restaurants scattered across the little island. This unique seafood restraint, for instance, lets you catch your own fish before serving it on the table. According to reports, the restaurant takes the daily, fresh-caught fish and puts them in the tanks of their eatery, where customers can then come and fish it out themselves. They say it provides a sense of freshness unheard of anywhere else in the world. Japan is already famed for its highly fresh cuisine thanks to its island benefits. Picking what kind of fish you want requires the right pole and bait. Don't worry, there's a guide to help you get it all set up for the proper fish to be snagged. Shelled seafood and crustaceans are just grab and pull, as you might expect, and you can choose your own lobster. That's about as fresh as it gets, save from pulling it from the ocean and eating it right there on the spot. <laughs> Balloon fishing. You don't need expensive gadgets or gear to fish effectively, at least not anymore. Thanks to the internet and the conjunction of millions of year old methods of fishing from around the globe, balloon fishing has finally been invented. Just hopefully they don't pop and pollute the water any more than they already are. If you're familiar with bobber fishing, then this method will be very familiar. The main benefit is that you can control how deep your lure sits from the indicator that you've got to catch. Compared with a bobber, you can get bait very far away from the bounce, luring more fish into the seemingly easier meal. Some that prefer the balloon method over the traditional bobber claim that in windy scenarios or when you're trying to drift a live bait in a current, the balloon's larger surface area moves skips the water faster than a bobber, creating a lifelike movement of the bait fish and drawing more fish into the trap. Monster Piranha While all piranhas can't be considered monsters with their ravenous appetite and violent feeding speed, this one takes the cake. That being said, it isn't really a piranha at all, but a giant tiger fish. For all intents and purposes, it's basically a giant piranha as they behave in a very similar fashion. The only difference between the species is a little looks and the size of which they grow. Piranha might have to swim in packs to devour a prey in just minutes, but this monstrosity can do so all on its own. Just look at those hideous teeth. The angler that managed to pull this beast up said the teeth are incredibly sharp and it's about as long as a great white shark. We're talking one massive predator fish here, folks. Anything being compared to a great white shark is big. These voracious predators have been known to consume prey the size of themselves thanks to the aid of their powerful bite and deadly appetite. Message in a Bottle Think messages in bottles are just a thing of human stories? Think again. To prove the point, this Dutch man has spent a lifetime gathering a vast collection of real-life messages in a bottle he's discovered. He's walked along beaches all his life and has some interesting finds for the effort. That being said, a message in a bottle is an unlikely but still wanted connection with a human in some way, shape, or form. They often tell stories and tales that no one else in the world knows. Thanks to its randomness and unlikeliness to find the hands of an actual human, they often divulge secrets and ideas of people that had no other form of expressing themselves. While it is sad, it's still remarkably personal and profound when the right message is discovered. That being said, they aren't all like that. Some contain trash and other messages of humor and or acceptance of the likelihood the message will never be found. He started collecting the bottles over 34 years ago and even had a great big story episode made about his life and hobby. Paddleboard Mystery Blob What do you do when a mysterious blob hops on your paddleboard while you're out on the water with friends? Apparently, just freak out and splash water on it. While his friend is freaking out over the mysterious species, he gets along just fun by laughing the whole time. It also doesn't appear to be such a great idea to splash water on it because it started to grow. And just before the footage cuts off, you hear a loud hissing that bewilders both pedestrians on the scene. Just what in the world is this creature? And why the heck is the blob making noises? We've all heard of dangerous gelatinous monsters, but none of them ever made noises. 
He tries to remove the blob once, but it has somehow attached itself very well to the board where the person literally can't remove it. Is this some sort of impossible to remove blob barnacle? That wouldn't explain the rapid expansion and rising, however. The boarder fears the thing is going to explode the moment it starts to expand, which is personally reasonable thing to expect from an unknown blob monster. <laughs> Real life origami boat. There's origami cranes, and then there are boats that actually operate. Yeah, how the heck are they managing to create an entire boat out of paper? It's an amazing trait. It was part of an art exhibition that took place in London and fashioned from massive sheets of paper. Before the artist launched into the river, he asked the public to help fold his sheets into a proper floating vessel. Once completed, he plopped it into the water and took a stroll through the middle of London while reading a newspaper and staying afloat. The piece is titled To the World's End. The whole thing was folded using origami techniques that managed to keep water at bay for the entire float. Amazing, right? The artist floating down the river with the newspaper was actually part of the exhibit as well. A human in paper while reading paper. It was meant to signify the significance of paper in our lives, its power, and the fact that it's taken for granted in its use and discarding. <laughs> Romantic Dingy Ride Love has no borders. This is proven true once again with this man who attempted to row from Thailand to India to see his stranded wife. With no other transportation method, he was determined to see her once again and set out on a daring adventure to prove his devotion and undying love to her. Unfortunately, he never made it and was rescued by boat crews who found him sort of stranded. With no navigation systems in tow or motor, he was set to accomplish this task on his pure knowledge of the stars and physical ability to row all the way there. That isn't some short distance, as you may well know. We're talking a whopping 1,240 miles. And that's without the water resisting you in any shape or form. After setting off, he was held back by headwinds, making limited progress in the two weeks before he became stranded. You can only carry so many supplies on that little rowboat he was using to trek across the ocean. You can't deny his perseverance and love for his wife, that's for sure. <laughs> Alien Crabs Horseshoe crabs are some of the strangest looking creatures on planet Earth, but they also are some of the most interesting and mysterious. They're ancient, tracing their DNA back millions of years before the time of the dinosaurs even. Despite the fact that the species has lived for hundreds of millions of years, experts have deduced that they're nearly identical to their ancient relatives. This makes them one of the most unique creatures in the world. Scientists suspect because of their impeccable evolutionary traits, they haven't needed to change any adaptation for their longevity. Now, however, thanks to human interference, they're in danger of going extinct. Their blood is a precious commodity in the human world. It has powerful anti-toxic properties, making it a necessity in many modern medicines to counteract the highly poisonous nature of some of them. With this in mind, their blood fetches an extraordinary price, especially in these troubling times of extinction and trade disputes. No one knows what they're missing until it's gone, and the horseshoe crab would certainly be one of them. Their blood is a huge part of that. Rainbow fish. Some fish like to put on a flashy show, just like humans do. The rainbow fish is certainly one of those fish. It uses its multicolors for multi purposes to survive and thrive in the wild. The fish looks like it was painted for crying out loud. This flamboyant creature is known as the Kinubella in Japan and surge wrasse in the Western worlds. It thrives in the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian oceans. There you can find it in reefs and rocky coastlines where they're typically found in heavy density. Despite their toxic looking color in nature, this special species is edible, although it's of minor concern to commercial fisheries because of its lackluster taste. It is, however, forever cherished by its vibrance in aquariums across the globe. With its wild coloring, you can see exactly why so many people are clamoring for one, especially in today's market where they're hard to come by. That isn't because the species is any less in population, but are becoming unpredictable and moving throughout the ocean in unforeseen patterns. The changing ocean conditions are to blame for this behavior. Shark won't leave. Fishermen have to deal with sharks far more often than you think. This relationship between the species is becoming even more complicated as the changing ocean conditions force them into unforeseen behavior. 
Never before have sharks risked their own lives to ensure a belly full of fish like this before. This shark would typically be a meal, just like the rest. If there hadn't been certain protections in place, not to mention the camera rolling. This shark refuses to leave the buffet of fish these fishermen just hauled in, even after the crewmates tried to pull it and lug it off the boat. There's little they can do as the enormous shark wiggles its way out of human hands and back into the sea of fish they had just captured. Even the crew can't help but laugh at the hilarity of the whole thing. Good thing the shark wasn't hungry enough to turn around and start chomping on some of the fishermen. That would have been a very different video we would be discussing today. This is yet another crazy example of how the ocean's creatures are behaving in continuously unpredictable ways. Scarping There are all sorts of fighting types out there in all the cultures around the world, but scarping might just be the craziest yet. As most know, fishing is a long, cherished, and necessary tradition of food hunting for humans. For as long as documented history shows, humans have fished for sustenance since before that as well, as it suspected. In the time frame of human existence, the species humans have developed many ways to go fishing more efficiently and tailored to individual fish. This method, however, takes it to another level. This is like an extreme sport now. While these crazy fish are hopping out of the water, a person equipped with a football helmet and a net and bucket are being pulled by a boat. They're trying to catch as many fish in this bucket as they speed along. The new technique is both a feat of balance and agility. Not only does the user have to take care not to get smacked by these flying fish, they also need to capture them, stay balanced, and get them in a bucket. Every time he fails, he's setting his fishing record back several seconds. He wants to be standing the whole time to maximize efficiency. The new technique is being held scarping, and the world of the internet has found a new hit. Giant Lobster while most lobsters are of pretty good size, nothing beats this giant. The massive Caribbean spiny lobster remains shadowed in caves, ledges, and crevices on the reef surface, away from predator eyes. During the twilight hours at night, you're much more likely to find them active in foraging along the reef for snails and crabs, decaying matter, and some aquatic fauna. Caribbean spiny lobsters actually eat most things that they find, so it's no wonder that they're called bottom feeders. Whatever's down there, they're eating it. Unlike the famed Maine lobster, these spiny beasts do not come equipped with enlarged front claws and are mostly harmless to people. However, if a scuba diver or a snorkeler decides to grab hold of one of these guys without gloves on, the spines can easily cut their hand. That means they're somewhat dangerous, but only of their own volition and will not seek out actively to hurt a human. The ocean is a big place and so it's no wonder there are so many mysteries still existing about it. While marine biologists and other aquatic scientists spend all their time studying the water, fishermen and sailors actually are on the water most of the year. They can practically be considered living on the ocean sometimes. With that being said, these people have the most experience with the ocean and life on the sea, so their stories, while they're wild, might just be true. Just because us typical land dwellers find it hard to believe doesn't make it any less so. If you enjoyed the video, smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe to get all our content delivered right to your inbox.